how do you tie your calf? Whether you're washing, blowing, or clipping, most of the time you spend working with your calf, it will need to be tied. For your safety and for your animal's safety and comfort, it's critical you learn how to tie your calf correctly. There are many different ways to tie your calf while standing or laying down, but the main thing is to make sure your calf is comfortable and can't injure itself while tied. In order to tie your calf safely and quickly, you'll need to know how to tie a slip knot. Wrap your halter around whatever you're tying to, then wrap your halter around itself, make a loop, pull the loop through the wrap, and pull it tight. This knot will hold your calf when it pulls against the rope, but it will slip loose easily whenever you're ready to untie your calf. When you're finished tying, always run the tail of the rope through the loop so your calf can untie itself. Tying your calf is a very important part of the training process. Your calf will need to learn to stand quietly while you're working with it. Getting your calf used to standing with their head tied high will make working, clipping, and showing your calf much easier. Tie your calf with its head up high and tight to the panel or rail you're tying to. Be sure not to tie too high where your calf is uncomfortable or fighting being tied. You'll know your calf is tied too high if its nose is tipped up in the air. Uh... Always keep your calf comfortable, but don't leave too much slack in the rope. Most injuries to show cattle happen when they are tied too long. Tying your calf with a long lead will also make working on it extremely difficult. Uh... On show days, your calf may stand for five or more hours while you fit and show. You don't want your calf laying down in the champion drive, so it's important to build your calf's endurance to standing for long periods of time. Start by tying your calf with its head up for one to two hours a day while halter breaking or when you receive your calf. It's best if you can get your calf in a routine and tie them at least five days a week. Slowly increase the amount of time you leave your calf tied until they can stand comfortably for about four hours. At the show, your calf will also be tied laying down for long periods of time, so it's important for your calf to learn to lay down comfortably and relax while being tied. When tying your calf down, give it 12 to 18 inches of rope. This will allow your calf to move its head comfortably and lay on its side if it prefers. If your calf can completely turn its head and look behind itself, or if your calf is stepping on or over the calves next to it, you probably have it tied too long. Once your calf learns to stand and lay comfortably while tied, you'll be ready to go to the show in no time. Just follow these four steps to start training your calf to enjoy being tied. First, learn to properly tie a slip knot. Begin by tying your calf with its head up high. Build your calf's endurance to being tied over time. Finally, tie your calf laying down using 12 to 18 inches of slack. That's how you tie your calf. Sure, champ. Prep to win.